Hello everyone, welcome back again to another one of my videos. Today's video is going to be how I do my wash and go and I'm going to try the um, Mop Top Citrus Kumquat Curling Custard as my main form of holding my hair as my main gel basically. I've used it before to, to twist out some of my hair and I've also used it to um, style my hair in areas where it was frizzing so I'm just gonna use this as the main styler today and for my leave-ins I'm kind of um, undecided I think what I'm gonna do is do a lock method I'm gonna use some oil that I have from Africa's best I poured it into this bottle from Sally's because it's a lot easier to apply that way for me and then I'm gonna use the oil handmade hairdo and the Sultanicals main thick and these three products are the same products I use when I twist out my hair, so I think I'm going to try using that. Oh, and just a quick update on the um, Allocate Naturals Creme Brulee. I just washed that product out of my hair today. My hair felt so dehydrated, so I think that when I, if I use that again, because I said to myself as I was watching back the video, I'm going to try it again to do it as a wash and go, and I'm going to try a different leave-in conditioner with it, because what I used was, in the first section on this side, I used the Bel Nouveau Avocado and Shea Healthy Hair Milk, because last summer, this was a really great leave-in conditioner for me. It worked really well with the other gel that I use by um, Beautiful Textures. So I'm I'm gonna have to work with it and kind of figure out what's the best way it will work for me if I want to do a wash and go. And then if it doesn't, I'm just gonna use it for twist outs. All right. So let me take down this part of my hair. And this video is gonna be kind of fast because I have to head out soon. So I'm gonna try to do this the best I can. I'm going to apply the oil on my hair first. I usually apply it on my scalp first because my scalp tends to get really dry. And then sometimes I'll take a little bit, pour some in my hand, and then just bring it down onto the strands of my hair. And then we open these up. So I'm going to put a little bit of the weigh-in hairdo with my hair. I like the small of this. My mom doesn't like the small of it. To me, it reminds me of like coconut butter. Not coconut butter, cocoa butter. Sorry. Um, that's what it reminds me of, but she doesn't like the smell. I like how it like hydrates my hair. I don't know. It just makes it feel really nice and smooth. Now I'm going to take a, I have a little bit of the soul tentacles on my hand now. The main thick. I have a mirror over here that I'm looking at just to make sure I'm applying everything correctly. There are no like frizz balls of product. Um, so now I'm going to use the mop top gel on my hair. And with the mop top gel, you need the slightest bit because <laughs> it has really good hold. I'm going to do this section by section. So now what I'm going to do is just, just clip this up. I'm going to grab a little bit more gel and just pass it through my hair. I'm kind of like pulling it down like, and then holding it out and then shaking it a little bit, which is the rake and shake method. And now I'm just going to go in and twist it with my finger a little bit, just to finger coil it. And for me, I like to finger coil because I find that it helps with the frizzing. So. And I twisted my sister's hair with the um, citrus kumquat gel. And it came out really good. I'm going to grab a little bit more gel for the strand. And her hair, she's basically kind of transitioning um, a little bit, I would say. Um, her hair because she has some damage from blow drying her hair straight and she also colors her hair but the thing is she also puts a softener which is a texturizer in her hair so her hair is kind of straight at the bottom but curly at the top 
So I did a twist off and it came out really good. So that's it. That's how I style my hair for the wash and go. So I'm going to stop the video here and I will come back on once my hair is completely styled. That way you can do this really quick and then you guys can see. Thank you all so much for watching. Please stay tuned. Hello everyone. I am back again with the final results of my hair using the Mop Top Curly Custard Gel in my hair. And this is just my first impressions of using the, this gel for washing goes because I've used it before to as like a finishing styler to um, help give some of the parts of my hair that were frizzing up some hold and I also use it to do twist outs on my hair so today I use it for a wash and go so it's my main styler styling gel and I realized that I needed to use more of this gel than I thought I originally had like when I twist my hair I usually don't put that much of this the tiniest bit of this goes a very long way but I found that when I'm doing my washing goes I need at least like let me see if I can show you guys I need at least this much per strand per section rather not so much per strand but like I'll take like maybe five or six strands and this is how much I would have to use on, on those strands of hair um, I do like this styler and another thing too I found with my hair, I don't know if it's because I have my hair cut or because my hair is colored, um, I had to use a heavier leave-in conditioner in my hair. Now last year what I used to use was the Beautiful Textures, um, I, don't know what, I don't know if it was the Curling Custard Gel or just Curling Gel, it was their gel from the collection, I only have one gel. And I used to use the Belle Nouveau avocado and shea um, hair milk and this is like a very lightweight moisturizer and I used to use this as my leave-in last year and this year my hair is not having it it's like I need something heavy to weigh it down so what I had to use was the oil and hair do and then I used a little bit of the sultanicals um, main thick in my hair and that was in addition to putting a little bit of oil and then for the back sections I use my Alake Naturals I use the lemongrass leave-in conditioner spray first so I just wanted to come on here and show you guys what the end results are so I'll turn around so you guys can see as well and what I'm gonna try to do is um, do another video showing you guys step by step again how I did it because I just did one section showing you guys how I did it but even that section which was this section here I had to go back and go over it and put more gel on top of it and put more um, leave-in conditioner on top of that area just so that, to ensure that my hair wouldn't frizz up so I wanted to just come on here and tell you guys about the, what my initial thoughts on the product are and I like it so far and I know I can tell from this and the way my hair is holding up that I'm gonna at least have three days wear out of this. Hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers. Hopefully, I'll have, you know, at least, at least two more days, if not three, at least two more days of great, you know, hair days with this. And my hair is still a little damp in this section and some areas of the back as well. So when that dries, I want to get the product from. Um, Smooth Naturals, which was formerly Coily Head Chick. I've been watching Naturally Curly Q's videos a lot, and she keeps raving about the product called The Whip, and I really want to try to see how, how it'll work on my hair, especially since I know how much I love this gel now. I want to see if by like on second day here, where my hair might not have as much definition to it, if I can go in with the whip and kind of twist it because that's what she uses as a core pressure. She uses it to also um, restyle her hair using twist outs um, once she has like the original style was a wash and go. So I'm excited about that. If you guys have any comments, questions, just let me know. Leave them in the comment section down below. Bye guys.